Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back, or if you're new, I'm GB and welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited to be sharing with you all the puzzles I received for the month of December. There's quite a fun mix here, lots of bright colorful ones of course, and lots of different art styles. We've got beautiful painterly images, some cute cartoony whimsical images, uh, some cool funky ones. We've got beautiful uh, photography and also some really fun Christmas ones. And if there's any puzzles here that you're curious about, make sure you check out the description box below because I'll have them all listed there. But before we go through all these puzzles together, I do have a very exciting announcement to make. And that is that I'm going to be traveling to Spain later this year to compete in the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championship. I'll be competing in the individual category, but I'm also going to be joining Vicky Makes and Builds and we're going to be competing in the pairs category together, which I think is going to be loads of fun. And just to add a bit more fun to the mix, the two of us will also be teaming up with Donna Louise from For the Love of Puzzles and Jeanette and her puzzles and together we're going to be competing in the teams category. So I think that's going to be heaps of fun. I'm really looking forward to it and I can't wait to meet them all in person and of course puzzle together. So make sure you check out the description box below because I'll put all the information about the event there and also link to everyone's YouTube channels and stay tuned for upcoming announcements. Okay, so now that I've shared my exciting news with you, let's go through all these puzzles. So it should come as no real surprise that uh, as per usual, we have quite a lot of puzzles to get through. This is the first deck of four, so I will try my best to not ramble and waffle on about each puzzle too much, but uh, we'll see how that goes. And just like usual, I've also grouped the puzzles based on the brand they're from. So let's go through the first three here, which are all from an Australian brand, which is based right here in Sydney called The Positive Piece. And they use uh, artwork from lots of different, very talented artists. Um, so this first puzzle is 1000 pieces. It's from their second collection called Balance. And okay, let's see if I can pronounce this. So the name of the puzzle is La Vendedora de Frutas, which I think kind of translates to like the female fruit seller or fruit vendor. And it's by the artist Nolan Dennis. Um, and so there's a little, uh, picture on the front of the box, but they do have a bigger one here. And I think from memory, they have a poster included as well. Um, but yeah, it's just a lovely, bright, cheerful, kind of colorful street scene. So uh, we've got like beautiful yellow, pink and blue buildings, the sun shining, there's palm trees. So it's obviously somewhere very warm and tropical and just very sunny. And yeah, we've got a, I guess, yeah, a lady selling fruit here in a little cart, like a little old fashioned cart. There's a very cute little kitty cat sitting on top of the cart, of course, cheeky as usual. And yeah, it looks like she's got a customer. Um, yeah, so it's just kind of like a nice little slice of life image. Very, yeah, really pretty. Um, yeah, just very cheerful, a little bit whimsical maybe. And yeah, I really like the colors. And um, even though it's, I guess it's sort of painted, it's not too, uh, well, at least at a glance, it doesn't look too, too painterly, which I often find that style a bit tricky, but this looks a little bit more like simple shapes and a bit stylized. So yeah, I think this one will be a really lovely one to put together. And then we have this gorgeous one here as well. Uh, this is from their first collection, it's, which is called Gratitude. And this particular puzzle is 1000 pieces. It's called Moroccan Oasis and it's by the artist, uh, Christelle Anne Absic. And yeah, again, little picture on the front and the larger picture on the back. And it's just a really beautiful, like plant filled, I guess, Moroccan courtyard of some sort of like a uh, lovely Moroccan large house or hotel or something like that, a palace, I don't know, um, with these beautiful like uh, ornate balconies and archways and windows and it's got a lovely pool and everything's like tiled. To, I mean, it's called Moroccan Oasis, so I guess a bit of an oasis, but it actually makes me think of like a mosaic because it's got all these little tiles everywhere. And yeah, and then it's like you're, peering into this courtyard with all these beautiful like palms and uh yeah different plants so definitely looks like a gorgeous place to relax in um but yeah i think this will be a really relaxing again very like happy calming cheerful puzzle to do as well and yeah just such a beautiful image and then the last one from the positive piece is 500 pieces and it's also from their first collection called gratitude and this one's koi fish in black water uh, by Amanda Laurel Atkins. And yeah, I really like this one. Uh, again, big image on the back. And it's just, I mean, I guess it kind of reminds me of Japan. And I've said before, like I uh, really love all things about Japan, but yeah, uh, this is just quite a striking image. So you've got like this sort of dark black water with just a few sort of simple shapes to sort of suggest 
the movement and bubbles and things like that in the water. And then these bright, colorful koi fish, like bright orange and orangey reds, and then these patterned ones. So yeah, just really striking, quite a like sort of simple color palette and quite like simplistic, I guess, stylized shapes. But yeah, just very eye-catching and just a beautiful image, I think. So next up, we've got a few here from the brand Ibu, and I've been on a bit of a uh, Ibu kick lately. Um, so this first one is 500 pieces and it's round and it's called Hummingbirds. I think this one's been out for a fair while, um, but I just thought it was a really lovely one. Um, they sort of have the whole image on the front, kind of like the whole image, but then as if someone's partway through putting it together and they have the whole image on the back too. Anyway, um, yeah, this is just a lovely one. Sort of, I guess it is quite painterly, so it might be a bit challenging to put together, especially because we have lots of shades of green down here. But yeah, all these beautiful plants, like what looks like a succulent, little berries and flowers and some butterflies. But the main, I guess, thing of this image is these beautiful hummingbirds that look like they're sort of zipping around and maybe even playing and having fun and just enjoying all the plants and flowers and everything. So yeah, very pretty, some lovely colors in there, but I think, yeah, it could be quite tricky, um, but it is only 500 pieces. But yeah, I think this will be a really beautiful one to put together. And then another very, I guess, pretty one from Ibu. I mean, they're all quite pretty, I think. 500 pieces and it's round as well. This, this one is called Still Life with Flowers. And this is, yeah, quite a different style, almost a bit folklore like folk, not folklore, I mean folk art, what am I saying? Um, and okay, and a little bit whimsical actually. So again, not quite the whole image on the front, but don't worry, there'll be images up here, which you've probably already figured out. Um, so yeah, it's like this lovely kind of, I guess like that sort of blue and uh, white china style uh, vase or a big pot. And then this huge bunch of colorful flowers, we've got some poppies and Lots of other flowers that I have no idea what they're called, but they're colorful and pretty, and that's what matters, right? And then, yeah, we've got all these lovely butterflies, some caterpillars, uh, even a little spider and a snail down here, a frog, um, and then these birds. So yeah, it's like quite, there's quite a lot happening. It's very lively and yeah, just a little bit whimsical and just a really lovely style. Like I said, like a little bit folk art maybe, um, just because of the way things are sort of painted. But yeah, very pretty and just, I think, a very colorful, cheerful design. And then another one that's very colorful and cheerful, and I'm getting stuck to the stickers here on the side. Um, I think this is a fairly newish design. So it's 1000 pieces, it's called Miami. There's even an artist playlist included, which is cool. Well, I think it's cool, but I never end up listening to them. I just forget, or I listen to my own, like, podcasts or music or things like that. Anyway, uh, sidetracked um yeah this is just a really fun colorful image um, of yeah i guess miami and the beach and all the colorful uh, very pretty pastel or bright pastel art deco buildings and there's just lots going on it's it's kind of a yeah quite a whimsical a bit cartoony sort of style so we've got like whoa, what have we got um we've got lots of people just walking on the beach and down the street obviously there's people in the water and on the beach enjoying themselves people driving in like those old sort of Cadillac kind of 1950s cars. Um, we've got a very happy dolphin that looks like it's having fun as well. This pelican that's caught itself a fish. Yeah, it's just really, it's just so fun and colorful. And I, yeah, I really love the color palette in this. It's just like brights, bright pastels and yeah, really pretty. A lot of pinks and teals and yellows and stuff. So yeah, gorgeous. Um, so yeah, I think that'll be really good fun. And then uh, I suspect this is by the same artist. I mean, forgetting to read all the artists out, but I guess that's okay. Um, so this one was Uta Grogman. And then are you by the same artist? Yes, same artist, Uta Grogman. So this one is uh, kind of like a similar theme, like it's sort of, you know, a busy kind of street scene or somewhere famous. So this one's called Berlin Life, 1000 Pieces. And yeah, same kind of thing where it's like, uh, got lots of famous, I guess, sites in Berlin. Um, um, and it's just sort of like this very colorful, lively street scene of like, yeah, just people enjoying themselves. And it's very whimsical as well. So we've got like famous buildings like the Brandenburg Gate and the sort of, I think it's the TV tower and the Reichstag, which is like the parliament building, I believe, from memory. Um, but yeah, we've got like, uh, you know, street art, like, what do you call them? Um, like here we call them buskers, but people playing music in the street where you 
throw money <laughs> into their case or hat or whatever. We've got people selling things at a market, a couple of ladies enjoying some very nice looking cocktails and like a, a pretzel, the like giant pretzel. Uh, and oh, the Berlin Zoo. And then we have um, the, I think it's like quite like the symbol of Berlin. It's like the brown, this brown bear um, enjoying what looks like a, a like a cup of chips. So just going along and having a great time. So again, very fun, very, very whimsical. Also, I love the bright colors and just this art style. It's, yeah, it's really nice. Um, so yeah, I think again, this will be really good fun as well. And then the last one I have here from Ibu is also 1000 pieces. It's called Gems and Fish and it is gorgeous. Uh, who's this by? Um, oh, Cl Claire Celeste Birch. So I've actually done some of her uh, puzzles before, both by Ibu and another brand. But yeah, she sort of does these uh, gorgeous, like, uh, I guess like collage images of different, usually like animals or nature, things like that. Um, but yeah, this is the underwater scene. Um, what have we got? Yeah, just this gorgeous image with the pale blue background, but all these different, I guess, as you can imagine, sea creatures. So we've got like, I guess, an octopus or squid, fish, turtles, um, what else? Like different shells and coral and things. And then, yeah, and then thrown into the mix are some lovely crystals as well. So, I mean, it is called gems and fish. So, yeah, and there's just like lots of like colors and patterns, like, and different types of like imagery overlapping and yeah so busy but there's so much like really nice detail to sort of uh to catch your eye so i really enjoyed her other couple of puzzles that i did so i think this one will be really fun to do as well and yeah just really beautiful and then the last couple of puzzles i have here for this stack um, are both from an australian brand let's slide these down um, which is based in Western Australia and the brand's called Ripples on the Road and they do these photography puzzles so these two are both 500 pieces and they're round and uh, they feature native Australian uh, flora or well, these ones specifically I think grow in Western Australia so this is called the Pink Woolly Feather Flower and I just really love the color I thought it was like just gorgeous and so yeah, it really is like fluffy you kind of want to touch it and really pretty so yeah, there's some, from what I've seen of the kind of photography that they do, there's just some gorgeous scenery and beautiful like flora in Western Australia. I have been to Western Australia, but not for quite a while. And um, it's such a huge state here in Australia that there's like so much to explore, but yeah, beautiful nature. So, you know, definitely recommend uh, heading over there if you're ever in Australia, but yeah, be yeah, just a beautiful plant. I think this is just a fun little 500 piece one and I think it'll be pretty to put together. Maybe quite tricky as well though, because um, <laughs> you know there's a lot of the same little flowers everywhere. So I think yeah, it might still be kind of challenging, even though it's only 500 pieces. And then the other one, um, I just really like the color. Sorry, a bit croaky. This one is called the Leafy Purple Flag Iris, and again, um, it, I, I'm guessing it's like native to Western Australia, but could be wrong. I mean, we have a lot of plants here, but yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Um, just this beautiful, like, I love this sort of shade of purple, I guess, light, well, yeah, I mean, no, it's not called lilac. I don't know why I thought I had lilac in the name, maybe because I'm thinking it's like lilac. Um, but yeah, it's just, yeah, a really pretty iris flower. And um, again, it'll probably be a bit tricky because the background sort of this sort of out of focus style with the focus on the plant and the beautiful, like, drops of water. Um, so I think the background will be quite tricky, actually, instead of probably not so much a flower but again it's only 500 pieces and yeah I just thought it was pretty and nice to have some like Australian flora in my collection. So that's it for stack number one and let's go to stack two. So these first couple of puzzles are from Pomegranate. Um, so this first one's by the artist Rex Ray and it's called Milo Pronesta. I have no idea what that means or it's just a name if you know let me know. It's 1000 pieces and it's very colorful and uh, like a yeah, really interesting kind of pattern. It kind of reminds me of like Christmas baubles actually. Who knows, this could end up being a Christmas in July puzzle. Um, but yeah, I really like the style. It's quite a uh, kind of gives me mid-century modern vibes, a bit like my wallpaper, sort of like 1950s, 60s. Uh, yeah, so it's really cool. Um, I guess there's not too much to say about it. I just really like the colors and the different sort of textures and patterns within each sort of 
I guess it's sort of like different things hanging down, almost like a beaded curtain or something, but, but like Christmas baubles, I don't really know what it is or if it's just abstract. But yeah, each sort of little, I guess, blob or kind of shape has like, yeah, different colors, different textures and patterns. Yeah, just really interesting and colorful and I think it'll be a fun one to do. And then this one here is by the artist Eric Wirt, or is it Eric Wirt? Who knows? Not me, apparently. This one's uh, called Nimbus and it's 1000 pieces. And um, I have, I think, another puzzle by Pomegranate from him as well. And he does these magnificent, very like realistic, um, but kind of fantasy at the same time, paintings often of flowers or fruit or plants, things like that. Um, so yeah, this one is just really stunning. It has like this beautiful kind of gold, very ornate, almost like, I guess a wallpaper kind of design coming out from this like vase of flowers. Um, yeah, very, very ornate. Uh, the design actually almost reminds me of like William Morris wallpaper with all the little swells and flowers and little birds and things. So yeah, very ornate. And it looks like it's meant to be sort of like gold leaf or gold foil, um, but it's not, it's just, he's just painted it so well that it almost looks like that. Um, but then interestingly, it looks like, I guess, all the flowers have either kind of fallen or been cut off their stems and seem to have just like fallen in a pile around the vase. So don't know what it all means, very mysterious, but also just really beautiful and just stunning. Like I love his like attention to detail and the colors and yeah, I think it's just beautiful and definitely looking forward to putting this one together um, and just yeah, I think it will be a bit tricky though, especially with like up close seeing all the different, like having all the little petal bits, um, like close ups of the petals is what I'm trying to say and close ups of like the paint strokes and even just all this pattern down here and all this sort of gold looking pattern up here. I think that will be quite tricky to put together, but I think it'll definitely be well worth it as well. And then we've got um, some here from the company uh, Sunshine Puzzles. And it's just like a little, I think, one person run German brand, which I discovered on Instagram. But uh, yeah, I've got a few puzzles from them already. And uh, they just do really fun, cute, like colorful designs. So this one is just called Love and it's 1000 pieces. Um, this is, it's got the logo here, but on the back, it's got the whole image. So yeah, it's kind of like simple shapes, but very fun, a bit 80s style just has the word love and then all these like colorful, I guess, orbs and ones with little patterns in. Yeah, kind of simple and like a bit of a gradiated background, but just really pretty, very yeah, pinks and blush tones and, but yeah, bright and colorful as well. So I think that'll be a fun one to do. And then another one from them, uh, this one's really bright and it's called Boom and 1000 pieces as well. So I guess the whole image is on the back. But yeah, it looks like we've got a big exclamation mark here and then lots of like kind of abstract uh, shapes and like lines and things. And again, very feels very 80s inspired. So yeah, lots of bright colors. I love the like bright purple and these yellow, pops of yellows and these pink lines. Yeah, it's really fun. And I mean, yeah, I think it's just abstract, but it's just a very like happy in your face, like, like the name boom. Um, yeah, it's a really colorful puzzle. So. I think this will be good fun to do as well. I don't know how hard it'll be, but it doesn't matter. It's fun, it's just there to enjoy. So yeah, I think, yeah, I think, think this one will be, uh, yeah, good fun to do. And then the last one from them is uh, actually a Christmas puzzle and it's just called Merry Christmas and it's only 500 pieces. So yeah, another very sort of simple one. Like, I mean, when I say simple, I mean like simple sort of shapes and patterns and stuff. Um, so it's just very cute and a bit whimsical so we've got this lovely Christmas tree I guess a few Christmas trees in the middle and like in this big orb maybe it's like a meant to be a uh, what do you call it snow globe or something like that and then we've got little trees up here and lots of stars and some holly and it just says Merry Christmas down here but yeah it's just again yeah very simple stylized shapes and patterns and but it's just really fun and cheerful so yeah, I think this will be a lovely little Christmas puzzle to do whenever that is, July or actually Christmas, who knows? But yeah, I think really cute. And then I have, yeah, yeah you might see a few Christmas puzzles here because uh, this is the December haul after all. So definitely ended up getting a few Christmas ones. Unfortunately, some sort of arrived a bit late, but that's okay. 
gives me some to do. Well, I mean, I already have a whole bunch to do this year, but even more to do this year. So I got this really fun one from uh, Falcon Contemporary. It's 1000 pieces. It's just called Christmas Wishes by the artist uh, Eleanor uh, Bauma or Boma. And yeah, it's quite a busy, fun image. So we don't have the whole image on the front. It's a little bit obscured by the like logo and like the name, but you can see most of it, I guess. And there will be an image of it up here. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a fun painty, painterly style, very bright and colorful. I love this pale pastel teal background, but yeah, it's just all Christmas stuff. So we've got Santa, of course, holding a bunch of presents. And, and then we've got lots of little, like, I guess, kids gifts, like teddy bears, drums, uh, like a rocking horse, um, candy canes, things like that, snow globes. And then, yeah, other things like Christmas baubles, a tree, uh, like other decorations and just like it looks like a big big Christmas party because there's like stars and streamers and bursts of color and has fun like little words ho 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 25th of December yum love Christmas wishes <laughs> um, nice until proven naughty make a wish yeah just it's really cute and feels a bit collagey but it's all just like painted so I think that'll be a really fun and just really enjoyable Christmas one to do as well. Very cute and whimsical. And then we've got one here from Gallison. Um, so this one's called Tropics and it's 1000 pieces. And it actually says puzzle contains shaped jigsaw puzzle pieces. Um, yeah, it says contains 20 shaped pieces. So yeah, kind of interesting. I'm not, oh, I guess, okay, so it has, like a big image on the front, but it's a little bit obscured. Um, but we have it again on the back and I think they usually come with a poster or a reference picture. But yeah, it's just this, um, I mean, I guess this is the whole image and then some of the piece, like shapes in it, like the bird and some of the plants, flowers and fruit are like actually shaped pieces. So I've never actually done one of these Gallison shaped, I'm getting tongue tied, Gallison shaped pieces, piece like Gallison puzzle with shaped pieces. Um, before so this will be interesting to see what it's like I do have another one in my collection but I haven't done it yet anyway but this one looks really fun it's yeah I mean it's called tropics so it's got like palm tree lots of different like tropical looking plants and flowers like uh, orchids and different fruits and like uh, what do we got like passion fruit I think and pawpaw and a whole bunch of oh, mangoes and then we've got like bird of paradise um, plant and yeah different palms and fronds and things uh, oh yeah passion fruit flower different uh yeah I think I saw oh yeah did I see a butterfly I'm sure I did I thought I did <laughs> maybe I didn't oh yeah there's a butterfly there's so much going on it's like quite busy and then some yeah beautiful tropical birds as well so very colorful and yeah I think it'll be fun with those shaped pieces so yeah, looking forward to it and then the last three of this stack are all from the brand Elena Essex um, and I'm not sure I don't think they're all by her I think some are like artworks by other artists so this first one is 1000 pieces and it's called favorite things and let me just check um, artwork by Mara Penny um, so this one is just gorgeous so it's got I guess like the big image here but then there's like this one again obscured by this sort of logo and then we've got like the whole image on the back. But yeah, it's really fun and colorful and kind of a rainbow gradient, which I love. And a lot of the Elena SX puzzles are kind of rainbow gradient inspired or have some sort of rainbow gradient in them. But yeah, this one's gorgeous. So we've got all these, well, I guess, favorite things of the artist. So we've got all sorts of fun little cute whimsical illustrations of different objects and things. We've got like a pineapple, again, like a giant pretzel, bananas, a little like uh what do you call them like a little spinning wheel like those paper little wheels that spin pinwheel pinwheel there we go um 3d glasses a cocktail lipstick typewriter garden flamingo a cupcake roller skates i could go on there's like just so many fun little illustrated objects and yeah they like uh the color is the colors used are really pretty so this beautiful teal background and then yeah, we have this gradient of sort of like yellowy lime green to orange reds, pinks and purples and kind of blues, I guess, and some green. So very, very pretty. And I think this will be so much fun to do. Definitely my kind of puzzle. So yeah, really looking forward to this one. Yep, that's me trying to uh, 
wreck my puzzles. Uh, so the next one, um, this one is, this one is actually done by Elena Essex herself. Um, it's really pretty. 1000 pieces, it's called Fruity Blush. And uh, kind of like the name suggests, it's all like this uh, image of all these different fruits that are all these, yeah, kind of blush colors. Um, so what do we got? Like, I guess, what are these called? Hang on. Uh, nope, I can't think of it. Oh, nope, I've lost it. I'm, yeah, I'll think of it like in about 10 minutes time. But yeah, like I guess grapefruit or oranges, different, yeah, different like citrus fruits, a dragon fruit, a tomato, which is a fruit, watermelons, like maybe mangoes, even carrots, which I guess are not a fruit. But you know, we'll just use the term fruity blush very uh, loosely here. But yeah, lots of different things. Like there's even mushrooms and like garlic and stuff like that. Rhubarb, that's what those things are called. See, I told you I'd remember. Um, but yeah, it's just a really like, uh, beautiful image, lots of different, yeah, fruits, veggies and things like that and other little like seeds and stuff. But yeah, lots of stuff packed in and just this lovely like, yeah, pinky, orangey colors. So hmm, very pretty. And then the last one here is also from Elena Essex and is a Christmas puzzle and the design is by Elena as well. And yeah, this one is just gorgeous and I had to grab it when I saw it. And this one's actually got gold foil in the design as well. Um, but yeah, it's just the colors are just so beautiful these like rich purples and rich like teals and hot pinks and like magentas and Yeah, and then the addition of the gold foil really really gorgeous. But yeah, it's all just different sort of Christmas imagery a lot of like uh, I forgot to mention what this is called. It's called Christmas cornucopia There you go. And it, yeah 1000 pieces and yeah, there's all these like beautiful Christmas ornaments pretty much like some are in interesting shapes like there's some that look like uh, one look, looks like a hummingbird and an owl and a flamingo and a swan, but they're all got little like a little uh, bit on their, the top of them to hang them on the tree. So, yeah, I guess it's all pretty much Christmas decorations. But yeah, really pretty. There's so much going on, lots of details. And yeah, I really yeah, I really love the colors. So I'm really looking forward to doing this one. I think it's just going to be stunning once it's put together and yeah, just beautiful and lots of fun as well. So that is everything from pile number two. Let's move on to the third one. Next up, I've got a couple of mushroom themed puzzles here. So these two are both from a publishing company called Inside Editions, and it's part of their Artist Canvas range. And this one's called Mushroom Medley by the artist Heather Brooks. And it looks like it's a photo. Maybe there's some digital design going on too. I'm not too sure. But yeah, it's this really gorgeous like bird's eye view like looking down on this layout of all these beautiful, colorful, different mushrooms and fungus and other little plants. So yeah, really, um, really a lovely level of detail too. You can see all the textures and patterns and things in the mushrooms, but yeah, gorgeous sort of teal ones and these pretty browns and yellowy oranges. I don't know like if this purple is like legitimately like the natural color of those or if they have changed it for the image, but they look really pretty and this sort of blushy pinky red yeah and cute little fuzzy green things up here but it, yeah just really pretty and i think it'll look really stunning once it's put together and then i went a bit crazy with the mushrooms and uh this one caught my eye as well so it's also part of the artist canvas range this one's only 500 pieces it's called flowers and fun fungi 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 <laughs> um and it's by the artist sherry sandville and again it seems to be like a sort of like a photo looking down on all these like, it's almost like uh, like a shadow box or something with like little uh, mushrooms and flowers and things arranged in each little kind of little square or compartment. But yeah, it's really pretty. Um, like it's not all mushrooms, like the name suggests is flowers as well and other little plants and even like that, um, I forgot what it's called, that spiky thistle thing. Um, yeah, but it's very pretty. Just looks very ornate. Um, yeah, very, I don't know, just just a really pretty image. So I thought that was like a nice one as well and just really interesting to look at in a lot of detail. So yeah, I think this will be a nice one to put together too. And then we've got a few here from a brand that's new to me, but it's been around for a little while and I've been dying to try their puzzles uh, because I really like their art style. Um, so the brands are Modern Puzzles and they're based in the US. And they just do all these um, 
like mid-century modern sort of 50s, 60s style uh, images and they're just really fun and funky and cool. So this first one's called Beach Vibes by the artist Christian Musselman and um, so it has like some of the image here but it has all this cool logo and stuff. Um, did I say, yeah, 1,000 pieces, um, but it's got the whole image on the back as well and a bit of a blurb about the artist. But yeah, this one's this gorgeous, like, really fun and interesting kind of, I guess, yeah, beach house from that sort of uh, era, like 50s, 60s, and that sort of, yeah, very designery. Um, but yeah, it's quite interesting because there's like lots of really fun shapes and colors and, and then you can sort of see into each like level of the house and you can see silhouettes of people doing all sorts of things so someone's like just relaxing someone's standing up there's people uh, down on one level doing like having a party where someone's playing an instrument and they're all dancing and chatting um, I can see a cute, some cute dogs and yeah people coming and going and yeah just someone having a cocktail on the balcony and yeah and then there's like a cute little car and like camper van trailer and yeah, you can see all like the furnishings and the artworks and stuff. So yeah, very cool and cute, funky design. I really like it. I, I love the sort of stylized look of it and just, yeah, I really, yeah, just love it. In love with this brand. So I'm so glad that I've uh, finally got a hold of some. They had like a big sale. So um, that kind of made the price plus the shipping a bit more reasonable than usual because shipping, worldwide shipping at the moment is like bonkers. Um, yeah, so really glad I could get a hold of these. So. Yeah, love it, so fun. And then we have another fun one um, by them as well. So this one's called Desert Sunset, also by Christian Musselman and 1000 Pieces. And it's the same sort of thing where it's like uh, this sort of house from that era, but I guess kind of in the desert somewhere, maybe like, I don't know, Palm Springs or something, Ooh, goes this way. Um, but yeah, again, it's got like this really uh, fancy, fun looking house and all these different levels of the house. And you can sort of see into like uh, different sections where you can see the furnishings and like the uh, like the I guess like interior design and stuff like that and then all the little silhouettes of people doing different things so like a family at the top you got a dog chasing a cat um, someone's playing the piano and again looks like a little party going on and yeah and just like a fun like sort of Cadillac down here and then yes yeah, lovely um, well sunset colors and the sun setting and palm trees so yeah very kind of like palm springs vibes i think um but yeah it looks really fun and i just yeah again love it so so cool then we've got a couple more from them because of course i had to get a bunch so this one's quite fun um this is 1000 pieces it's called uh, it's a mod mod world uh, by the artist christian musselman again and so this one's more of like a really fun uh colorful pattern uh, and like different imagery for sort of from that mid-century modern design era like 50s 60s um, so the whole image is on the back but yeah we've got like um, different like furnishings we've got like clocks and like sideboards and lamps and things and uh, plants but then we've got like a sausage dog and a cat and uh, like oh, like an Eames design chair I think and the I think they're like Eames birds so Eames is like a design duo I think it was like a husband and wife team I could be wrong um, from that like designing stuff from that time period but yeah just really cool fun little elements and fun little patterns and textures and even the colors are sort of from that like that color palette is from that time period too so yeah I really love it I love how like I really like a lot of art and design from different time periods so and this is one of my favorites so I really love how it's like uh, been done in a really fun and whimsical cute way in these puzzles so yeah I really like this one I, I think it's really cool and um, yeah just I think it's gonna be good fun to do so I'll stop waffling about these I'm getting a bit too enthusiastic and then the last one from them it's kind of a similar style but it's more cartoony um, so I think it's yeah it's done by different artists so this is a round puzzle and it's 1000 pieces it's called Billy's Burgers and it's by Mac George <laughs> it's just a lot of fun so They've got, uh, yeah, the whole image on the front. Um, yeah, it's like kind of a weird, like, oh, I don't know what you call it, like this sort of fisheye lens, I think, of um, this like little burger, takeaway burger joint called Billy's, I guess, with the sign up there and a giant hamburger at the top and chips and stuff. And then it's got all the like 1950s style cars in the 
car park and then people sitting outside enjoying their burgers and stuff. And then, yeah, these like really funny looking little seagulls waiting around to steal people's chips. And they've even put like some of them eating chips on the ground, like on the box for decoration. So yeah, I think that that's really fun and cute. And yeah, this one's a lot more, I guess, silly and cartoony than the others, but they're all quite fun and whimsical. So yeah, I think this will be a lot of fun to do and definitely looking forward to it as well. And then what do I do next? Uh, these ones. So I've got a couple here from the brand, what's it called? Uh, I think it's Paper Blanks. Yes, Paper Blanks. And they do stationary things too, but um, they do these beautiful puzzles. And so this one's 1,000 pieces. It's called Firebird, Birds of Happiness. And this is only like a section of the image. The whole image is on the back. And then it has a blurb about the artist. So um, yeah, so they have different artists doing their artwork, but all their, um, like, I mean, one, their artworks are stunning. So this is this gorgeous, I guess it's meant to be like a phoenix or something, cause it's like, what's it called? Firebird, so, you know, rising from the ashes and all that. But yeah, it's this beautiful bird with all these ornate feathers and patterns going on and this beautiful like orangey reds, like fire colors and even like what looks like a peacock feather, but sort of done in the red. And then this beautiful contrasting like teal aqua, bluey sky with little stars and stuff. and. Yeah, there's so much going on and even the birds got like sort of jewelry, like gold jewels and things. So yeah, a lot, lots of beautiful feathers. Um, so not only is the image beautiful, but I don't know how to describe this, but the texture of the pieces is like all these mixed textures and it's just really stunning. So I've done one of these before, um, like I think it was a dragon puzzle by this brand, different artist. And like the pieces, pieces had a mixture of like gold foil, it's almost like satin fabric finish, uh, like a rough texture. Like it was this mix of really interesting textures um, all throughout the whole image and just like stunning. It was so hard to f like photograph though. Like it was really hard to pick up on all the different textures and the sort of shine of the different pieces. But yeah, just stunning. I've never seen anything like it, um, but yeah, they're just really beautiful. And also the quality of the pieces was really good as well. So yeah, just overall very impressed and they're not overly expensive either. They're probably even less expensive than Ravensburger some of the time, depending where you're buying these from. Um, but yeah, just, it's really impressed. And I, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to like doing these and seeing like how they've done all the texture for this particular image. So yeah, I think it's gonna look gorgeous. And then of course I got another one from them. Um, so again, 1000 pieces, this one's called Tropical Garden Nature Montages. And again, like it's sort of funny because I feel like they don't put the whole image on the front and it doesn't really do the puzzle justice and they never, you don't realize until you open it up that it's all these beautiful textures. Um, so that's just part of the image, but the whole image is on the back and it is this gorgeous like uh, tropical parrot and all like in amongst all this tropical foliage. So we've got like all these, yeah, just like tropical plants and butterflies and yeah, just very pretty colorful things. It's just jam packed. like. The, the background is just filled with like lots of detail of like flora and like, yeah, insects and things. So very, very pretty. So I can only imagine what this one's gonna look like with all the different like, you know, foiling and satin texture and stuff. I think it'll just be absolutely stunning. So yeah, I just hope that when it comes to uh, photographing it, I'll be able to actually like do it justice, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, just, just beautiful. So these last two are from the brand Arcadia Puzzles, which is a Canadian brand. And these are both from a Kickstarter um, and they're by different artists. So this one is uh, by the artist Vivian Ho and it's called Hello Hong Kong and it's 1000 pieces. And yeah, it's this lovely illustration of like a sort of street scene in Hong Kong with like the different traffic and buses and all the different like neon signs. I mean, it's during the day it looks like. So the neon signs probably aren't on, but there's still just so many and they're colorful and like very interesting to look at. And it's like all these, you can see all the buildings and like apartment blocks and shops and stuff going all the way back. So yeah, it's like lots going on. And then there's like sort of a cute, like whimsical addition of like, there's this like girl cross, I mean, the traffic's all stopped at a pedestrian crossing and there's this girl crossing. She looks like she's maybe a school girl but randomly she has some carrots sticking out of her backpack and they seem to be falling like she's dropping them as she's walking along the crossing 
And then there's a cute little tabby cat sort of running after her. So I, I don't know what that's about, but it's very cute and kind of fun and just a little odd thing to include, but I quite like it. Um, but yeah, I just really like it. And I think it's just a fun, very interesting looking image. And um, yeah, I think it'll be a nice one to put together. And then we've got this very last one here for this pile. Um, it's called North Pole and it's another Christmas uh, puzzle. It's 1000 pieces and it's by the artist Rosie Cheeks. I hope I said that right. Um, and this one is very cute and adorable. Uh, this is sort of, again, a very like simple stylized kind of like art style. And we've got like a house that's all done up in like Christmas decorations with like a little llama peeking out eating Christmas cookies. And there's like all these cute little animal critters. So we've got like bears and maybe like a hedgehog, I think, snowmen, penguins, some reindeers, monkeys. Uh, yeah, all sorts of cute characters. And then we've got Santa paying the house a visit um, with his little sleigh full of presents. So I guess he's going in there to deliver some presents to all the cute little critters. And yeah, they're all doing fun. Like there's so much going on. There's like Christmas trees and a gingerbread house. Um, lots of little trees with little faces. There's a little ice hockey game going on out here um, and cute little clouds and stars. Yeah, very kawaii. Everything has cute faces and stuff. But yeah, there's so much going on, but it's really cute. So maybe I'll do it in July or keep it for Christmas. I'm not too sure, but I think it'll be good fun to put together um, whenever I decide to do it. So yeah, looking forward to that one. So that's it for stack number three. Let's get on to the final pile of puzzles. Okay, so we don't have too many more to go through. Uh, so this first couple here are from Buffalo Games. This one's 750 pieces and it's from their Stargazing series and it's called Fantastic Skies. And yeah, it's this really beautiful, fantastical kind of like snow landscape scene with like little snow capped pine, uh, yeah, pine trees. And then this beautiful swirly, colorful light in the sky with all these little stars. And it's almost like a blizzard or something, but like light filled. Yeah, it's really gorgeous. I love the colors. And then we've got all these cute little critters and also a unicorn down here. So we've got like little bunnies, a foal, some little wolves, cute birds and like a little seal. And yeah, really cute and very fantasy themed and just looks really pretty. And I love that uh, the colors are sort of reflected on the water of like the lake as well. So yeah, I think this one's going to be a really gorgeous one to do. And then this next one from Buffalo Games is 500 pieces. Um, and I did this one recently on Instagram. It's from their Amazing Nature series. And it's called Hello Tiger. So it's really cute, very fun and colorful. Um, I love the sort of sketchy kind of style and just love the bright pops of like yellow and hot pink and these like darker blues and purples and stuff. And yeah, it's just, you know, it's cute, friendly tiger wanting to be your friend and hang out at a cafe together, maybe <laughs> just saying hello. But yeah, I love all the sort of uh, yeah, bright sort of again simplistic sort of shapes and patterns and things sort of etched in and yeah it looks, What looks like uh, like peacock feathers and leaves and things and uh, yeah, very colorful and like lots of uh, Very like striking shapes and patterns and things. So yeah, that was good fun to do that one and then uh, I've got a few here from Seiko and I'm terrible because I keep saying I'm not going to buy Seiko and then I get suckered in with their cute designs. So, uh, um, so anyway, these first couple are from the series Cleo Cats and they're 550 pieces. Um, and as per usual, it sort of has like the images of some of the others in the series, but I can never seem to find like an individual name for this one. But I believe this one's called Luna. And yeah, these ones have these beautiful ornate like cats. So the cat's face is very detailed. You can see all the fur and the little uh, like whiskers and these gorgeous blue eyes. And then the cat's sort of decorated in all these like swirly patterns and dots and stars. And then we've got the moon up here. And then, yeah, it kind of, the colors and style remind me a little bit of like the Starry Starry Night painting by Van Gogh. And yeah, just like these blues and little like lots of paint strokes and things. And yeah, very busy and very ornate, but yeah, just really beautiful. So I think this will be a nice one to do. And then the other one from that series uh, is called, I believe it's called Flutter. So again, another gorgeous ornate cat, a uh, very sort of detailed face and lovely like emerald green eyes, very beautiful, cute little whiskers and fur. And then yeah, these 
pretty sort of swirly patterns and butterflies and um, I guess what sort of looks like maybe a grassy hill or something like I guess it's outside um, it almost looks like nighttime but then I don't know because there's like butterflies so I guess normally butterflies would be out during the day but I guess it's all stylized and a bit abstract so it's art you can do it at once but yeah very pretty and yeah just a really gorgeous looking kitty cat so I think this will be a pretty one to do as well and then these last couple from Seiko are very fun and colorful and very whimsical so they're part of the happy camper series and they're 300 pieces and again I don't know what this one's called I think it was called Canyon Camper so they're campers in the sense of like a little camper van or someone's like little trailer and this one yeah I think this one's called Canyon Camper because it's like parked out in like I guess like the Grand Canyon or somewhere like that where, with all the rock formations and it's a nighttime scene with all these like beautiful stars and the moon out but yeah the camper van is really cute <laughs> very like someone's painted it like rainbows and flowers and peace signs and they've put little colorful lanterns and then we've got a cute uh, table and chairs set up and it looks like someone's been playing card games and got the guitar out and their esky or like their cooler and then there's a cute cat that's just hanging out on a tree stump so yeah it's really cute and uh, there's lots more details as well like you can see stuff into the windows on oh, there's like cactus plants and a tent some tents but yeah it looks really cute very oh they've got a, even a canoe or a kayak strapped to the top of the camper van as well so lots of details just really fun and colorful and cute and yeah i, I don't know i think camper vans like this are, are quite fun so yeah i thought that was like just a cute one and then the other one like there's a whole bunch in this series more than just three so um i think i even like recently picked up a couple more but you'll see those in another haul i guess um so this one i think is called green mountain camper um and yeah it's very cute and whimsical as well and yeah more of a kind of i guess farm hilly mountainous setting and during the day we've got some crows up here and what looks like like um what do you call it like an orchard with like apple trees or something and farming land and a big red barn and cows and stuff and yeah it looks like they've camped near someone's farm because it's like yeah cows a little piggy like a goat um, again we've got a cute cat down here who's like hanging out maybe it's the farm cat and yeah we've got like uh, harvest things like pumpkins and I guess some apples and stuff um, so yeah and there's like uh, I guess this is a bit more like autumn themed this one so we've got like a little autumn leaf here and someone's like lovely little quilt and some skis and fish and this lovely sort of mandala pattern and yeah there's just so much going on a cute little rocking chair um yeah oh, oh i approve of this it's like a little cheese board they've got set up so no wonder the cat's there you know clearly the cat uh realizes that these campers uh have good taste um but yeah it looks like good fun very cute very whimsical and I think it'll be a lot of fun as well and then we're down to our last two puzzles so these two come in these cute little like what looks like juice or milk cartons and they're 1,000 pieces and these I actually picked up from a shop here called Miniso which is a bit like a Daiso if you've ever seen or heard of that where it's sort of like uh, got all sorts of stuff at kind of discounted prices like probably a bit better quality than a dollar store and a bit more expensive but still like I guess inexpensive so they've got like stationery homewares but they've recently started selling cute puzzles as well so this one is called uh let's see if I can figure it out I don't know um flowers and plants and this is just part of the image I'm hopefully going to try and find or take a photo of the tiny image and put it up here so hopefully you'll be able to see the whole thing it does have the whole image here I don't know if it comes with a poster I've never done one of these before but I have no idea what the quality is like but I just thought it was really cute it was like five dollars or something so inexpensive um, but yeah it's just uh, a really cute image of like colorful flowers and leaves and then like three little kind of uh, critters so we've got like a deer which has like a little flower headpiece and little antlers and then a bunny rabbit with a flower crown and then we've got like a cute fox with a crown on as well so yeah just really cute whimsical very sweet and just looks like yeah just fun and colorful it's kind of 
I don't know, just cute, thought I'd grab it. And then the last one, again, hopefully I've managed to find an image to put up the top as well. Um, what is this one called? So this is 1000 pieces and it's called, who knows, uh, forest. Okay. And again, like it only has part of the image on the front um, and has the whole image in this tiny picture down here. Or maybe I have to crack these open and see if there's a poster or something. I hope so, because that would be better to take a photo of than this but we'll see what I can do. Um, but yeah, this one is very pretty. It kind of reminds me a bit of like Elena Essex designs with like all the plants and like flora and fauna with sort of gradients going through them a bit. I mean, it's different, but like it sort of reminds me a bit of that. So yeah, again, it's like very filled with like plants and trees and flowers. And there are all these like beautiful colors, like sort of indigos and greens and oranges and pinks and stuff. And then we've got um, like a giant moth and a fox and like a bunny rabbit um yeah there's all sorts of stuff actually i don't know if that is the whole image down there or not because here i can see like the rabbit's ears but then they seem to be cut off here so who knows <laughs> um but yeah it's just a really yeah beautiful love the colors love the sort of again whimsical design and sort of simplistic shapes and pattern patterns and things um yeah i think it's really pretty so definitely interested to see what uh, these puzzles are like so yeah hopefully they're not too bad but I mean they're really inexpensive regardless so I'm not like expecting the world from these but you know they look cute um, so that is everything for the month of December so I think there were some really fun and interesting puzzles for the month of December we had lots of different art styles from like mid-century modern kind of cool and funky to more painterly art styles and then there were cartoons and whimsical little images and of course lots of bright and colorful ones as well and then there were some really beautiful uh, photographic plant puzzles and mushroom puzzles and of course to top it off we also had some really fun Christmas ones in the comments below let me know which puzzles were your favorites and were there any here that you also added to your collection if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you show that like button some love. And for more videos like this, and for even more puzzle content, then don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. By subscribing, not only will you be the first to know when a new video is released, but you're also helping this channel grow. And you can find me over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore where you'll find even more puzzle content. Thanks so much, and see you next time. Bye!